3, I'm here with a new video and today I am ranking all my Colourpop palettes and I'm not going to show you because I have already put them in order. So I have 10 Colourpop palettes. Oh my god, I have 10. So I will start with the bottom palette and then we go, go up to the top and this is what I feel right now. I have done ranking of my US Place palettes and my blush tray palettes and sometimes this changed but this is like the order I have now so we just get started from the bottom and up. So on last place we have a palette I think I've used that's this one and it's the Soul palette and this I bought really early I think I bought three palettes at first from Colourpop and it looks like this I know that I've used this at least once I this was like before they started with their monochromatic palette I don't think this is anything special I really like the color store when I bought it but it was like a while ago so right now I it was like okay this is going to be the orange palette and it's like not that many orange shades in so and for me that I've only used this once, I think it says something that it's not a favorite of mine if we say it like that. And then we have the other, the companion to that and it's the Mar palette. And this I really like the shade in the middle but it's like the only shade I like in the palette. And the same thing with this one. This is like not like a blue C palette, it's, it's like three colors. No, I really like the middle one but it's like the only one I like in this palette. It's nothing wrong with the quality but it's just like the color story. No. The next palette, this I thought I was going to love so so much. I do not and it's the Yes Please palette and this is some of my absolute favorite shades like this is a really nice shade and this yellow is actually really nice but it's like no it's like with the other two it's missing like the whole theme i think it's lacking it's it is a neutral palette with like an orange and yellow What's it even called? Like an orange and yellow pop, but nothing else than that. And I think it's just too many colors that are not doing that much for look, so that's why it comes so far down. Even though this is like my favorite, I think if I would wear makeup every day to work, maybe this is a palette that I would use because I would want to use like neutral I look with maybe a little hint of orange. Next up is the Ooh La La palette and <laughs> the only reason that it is coming pretty far down is because I don't like purple pink that much. It looks like this. It's nothing wrong with this at all. I think this was one of the first monochromatic palettes if we don't count Solomar and we do not. I think it's a good like variation. It's like super pink. It's very toned down pink and it's even like more on the purple side. So I think I think it's a good palette and if you love pink eyeshadow, I think this would be a great choice, but for me not much. Maybe I should do something more with this. If you want to see more with the Ula La palette, let me know. For next place, which place are we? What did you say? Place number six. It's the Zodiac palette. And this I have used quite a lot. I have used all of the shades. I did a Zodiac series with this. I can leave the playlist up here. It looks like this. And if you have watched the episodes, uh, you know that I'm not like super impressed by this palette. And I am not. I think the quality is pretty bad for being a Colourpop palette. Some of the shades are amazing and that is why it's coming on place number six. 
Yeah. <laughs> if it wouldn't for this really amazing shade, it would have been so far down. Um, one of the shades that I absolutely love is this Gemini. This is like one of my best gold and to pair this with like a green. Do you even see anything? To pair this with a green. Amazing. I think that is my favorite zodiac look I have done when I did the Gemini look. Really like it and also this Cancer is a good shade. The Libra is really nice. Some of the others like this Pisces, it looks amazing but it's not like, it's pretty dry. And it's not like Gemini at all. It is a nice, it is a nice shade. But it's not like, it's not as amazing as it looks in the pan on the eyes so don't buy this palette. I think they say sell all of these singles, so just buy Gemini and you would be good. Okay, so it was pretty easy to get like the bottom of the list. Now it's getting harder and harder and harder. On place number five, it's the orange you bled. And yes, maybe you thought that this was going to be higher because I love orange. But the thing that I don't like with this is this glitter in the middle. It's a nine pan palette and doing a pressed glitter in it that is really really flaky, not a good idea. I think it would be better if they sold this together, like did a collection, um, the Warren Sugar Lab collection that I think they did and do this glitter as a, in a little loose pan or something as a single, but not in this. It is a good palette, it is, the quality is really there, but I also think this misses some oomph. Like it's orange, but I want more orange, but like this tangerine dreams, a lovely, lovely color. So, um, for an orange lover, this is not the hit, but for somebody that like orange or want to use orange more, I think this should be it. And maybe this next place will surprise you as well because it is the other monochromatic palette that I thought I was going to love so much more. It's the Aha Honey. It's the yellow one and it's the same reason as for the orange glad that's in the middle it is pressed glitter. It's a really really nice glitter but <sighs> no. And also I would love if it... <sighs> I also think that this is missing something I really don't know what, but I think it's not quite there. I think like some of the colors are really similar. They are different, um, but not as different as I was. I would want them to be. I think you could do more fun yellows than this, if I'm going to be honest. But I also think that maybe like the background is not in the best fav favor. I think if you're doing like yellow I think maybe a darker background would be better uh, so the shades really stand out here they like this like blends together with the background of the palette yeah okay and now <laughs> for the top three palette it was so hard but I think as for right now the number three spot goes to blue moon and yes I am ranking a blue palette this high this is like my favorite blue palette of all time and like my shades are sticking up. It looks like this if you didn't know and I think this has a better like, it's not like the Aha uh Honey, -huh it's more different types of blue and I really really like it and I really like, like this shade. It looks pretty white but it has a blue sheen to it. I can swatch it for you. I don't know if how much you're going to see. Okay, you see a lot. So it has a really nice shift to it. And this tide pool. Mm. Really, really like it. So I think this is perfect if you want to try blue. Because it's a sheet palette with only nine shades. And the quality is amazing on this one. 
and I know that glue can sometimes be a little bit hard to work with but I think this works so good okay I have two palettes left so <laughs> do you know which palette is going to be my favorite maybe no maybe you don't maybe you know which palettes I have left I don't know the runner-up is just my luck the green one and this has some of my absolute favorite shades from Colourpop these two uh, Mary Jane and Olive You amazing shades um, I think I've used all the sh no I haven't used this one I think I can't remember have I have I not I don't know this is a really really good palette this sh these shades are so so good and I I know that some doesn't like this one um, people that like green doesn't like this that much but I like green I can probably say that I like green nowadays and it is really good and I love that they took like only like two shades that aren't green in this instead of like more than that and really really good palette and the same as with blue moon if you want to try green buy this just to test it out if you like green or not it's really really good quality on this one okay <laughs> my absolute favorite palette from Colourpop is of course good sport I have done it looks one palette with this I think it looks like this this maybe doesn't look much to the world but okay I've talked about this so much this ebb shade if I could marry a shade I would marry this one it is amazing you see that it's freaking amazing and also this this gold one is amazing and also this this is also pretty it's more it doesn't look like much in the pan but it has like a shift to it let's see if i can catch it on camera i don't know but it's like now you only see the M. it has like some It's coppery but also with like a pink tint to it I <laughs> love it so much and it was so fun to play with this I think some of the colors aren't super good I think it is this one that is pretty dry but other than that I really really like this palette this is my favorite palette from Colourpop even though it, I don't know maybe it looks boring but I think this is really unique and just such a good palette and I think that this palette deserves so much more the only thing I don't like I I absolutely hate the packaging leopard print not my thing and I like don't know with the background on this but the colors in this is amazing and ebb is one of the best shades so, okay, that was everything for ranking my Colourpop palettes. Do you agree with me or do you, do you disagree? Which one is your absolute favorite palette from Colourpop and which palette from Colourpop you, like, can't stand? <laughs> Please let me know down in the comments. So, yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!